2020, what a year this has been. We've never seen something like this before and hopefully we'll not see anything like this in the future. So we've been homebound, most of us, you know, Zooming, virtual calls, working from home, homeschooling, too much of the home environment happening. And are you not, like me, itching to get out? Now, if you, like me, happen to be in the city, you're wanting to get a taste of regional towns and vice versa. So, if you are in a regional town, you would love to get into the city and experience a bit of the urban life. Or perhaps you would like to go interstate, you know, meet the parents, meet the family, meet your cousins, be there for the end of the year family reunion. So, I would tell you what to do, how to travel right and how to pack properly for an optimized travel experience. But as I always say, first things first, who am I and why am I doing all this talking? So I am Samita, I am a fashion designer and academic and also an eco-entrepreneur. I am based in Melbourne, Australia. I run a gifts and lifestyle label called Dida Eco Gifts Online. Yes, we are based in Melbourne, Australia, but we have a global audience. We ship worldwide. So come on, join me for a few travel tips and tricks. Now, it really depends upon what kind of travel you are doing. So are you going away for a fortnight or are you going away just for a few days? If you are going away just for a few days, you do not have to car carry around bulky luggage. So what you can do is you can get hold of this kind of a strong canvas tote bag. So this canvas bag is bright. It's got an Aztec inspired print and it's got a fairly capacious interior like, you know, there's a plenty of room inside. Um, the best thing about these canvas tote bags that these are incredibly versatile. So they would be your carry on luggage, they would be your overnight bag and they would also double up as a beach bag if you are going to a resort for instance or if you go shopping, even grocery shopping, this would be fine. You know, you do not have to carry three or four bags, so one bag would suffice. This canvas bag, for instance, comes with two outer pockets. So one has the snap lock, the other one has a buckle. So what you can do is, what that's exactly what I do. I would store my essentials in these outer pockets. My water bottle goes in here. Sunglasses, which I require all the time, goes next to the water bottle. I'm very fond of munchies, especially when I'm traveling. So all my muesli bars, my nuts, my crackers and biscuits would go into this pocket. And because I can buckle it up, it stays secure. So no spills, no, you know, you can even put like a couple of cans of um, soda or things like that. So once you do it, you buckle it up and it stays secure. So that's another reason why should in, why you should invest in a good tote bag that was about a short stay now suppose you're going away for a fortnight you'll need to carry a little more and make use of these calico bags you know take about if you've been buying from dida i'm sure you have a few calico bags like these so make use of these say take about four you know, use the first one for your trinkets like your jewelry, little bits and bobs. Use the second one for your lingerie. The third one maybe for your hair ties and scrunchies and the fourth one for your first aid for medicines. And that one you should always keep with you in your carry on luggage. Uh, use the mesh bags for shoes. You know, I actually got this tip from a client and I normally would say you use the mesh bags to store your veggies or your produce, your fruits. But she said, no, Samita, you know what I'd be using these for? I said, what? 
She said, I'd store my shoes in these and because it's mesh, the shoes would be well ventilated and there would be no and if you say for instance she she advised that I put a sachet of say lavender or something like that and if you put a little sachet of something you know fragrant something in your shoe bag your shoes would always smell nice so no yucky kind of smell coming from your shoes so what a wonderful recommendation that was. Um, I would also suggest that you do not buy the plastic pods, you know the plastic inserts, the bags that we put inside our travel bags. I am a big fan of pods, but I would never use plastic. So make use of your bigger calico bags, the drawstring ones. So make pods for different things, maybe one for your sleepwear, one for your t-shirt, another for your uh, you know your lingerie the third one the fourth one for your trousers and once you've placed these pods in your suitcase in your travel case use the nooks and crannies for these kind of small bags you know small bags containing your um, your scrunchies small bags containing your socks small bags containing your um, lingerie you know your inner garments so that way you optimize every little bit, every little bit of space in your travel bag. So as regards clothing, I would recommend a blend of kaftans. For instance, this sheer kaftan and the sheer kaftans are absolute lifesavers if you are going to say a resort town because this sheer kaftan will also double up as a cover or a throw over for your bather. So if you are coming out of the water, just fling this kaftan on top and you'll be all sorted. So it's also great for some poolside barbecues. Uh, combine this sheer kaftan with some of the middleweight ones, you know, something like this, which would be good for lounging, just for taking a stroll, shopping. So all the sundry kind of activities, this kaftan is a great choice. And as you can see, this one has a zip running down the front. So it's ideal for nursing mums. So if you have a small bub, so and if you are nursing, so this one is the ideal nursing maternity wear for you. And I personally like a couple of these, you know, the beaded kaftans that allows me to do an easy transition from morning till evening. So I am, if I've gone out in the morning, afternoon, and then I have to get ready quickly, make that transition from casual morning afternoon wear into something which is slightly formal for the evening I, maybe I am dining out so these kind of beaded kaftans is the answer to your formal wear combined with casual wear kind of problem. So if adventure is your poison so make sure that you throw in a couple of t-shirts a few t-shirts you know t-shirts are ideal for adventure activities like trekking or hiking so combine your kaftans with some very comfy t-shirts and these t-shirts are made out of organic cotton. So they are non-toxic, they are breathable. So ensure breathability is very important when you are indulging in adventure sports. So ensure that you have a couple of these t-shirts in your travel bag. So you see travel wear should be all about the weight. It should be very light. It should be very, very comfortable. And the third thing is it should be just easy to carry and versatile. So remember all of those things when you, you are packing your travel wardrobe. I would also recommend a couple of dresses like this. You know, this dress, this particular style comes in cobalt blue or a coral pink. The best thing is that it's very light, lightweight, doesn't take up space. It's very soft and comfortable and one size fits most. Last but not the least, a few scarves. Now I would again recommend a blend of few different kinds of scarves. You can never go wrong with a black pashmina. You know black pashmina is accepted worldwide. It's very versatile but hey if you are like me if you like a pop of color then chuck the black pashmina and you can use the hot pinks or the reds and then top it up with something like a printed one, a printed silk cashmere kind of scarf. 
and you can liven up even a, the plainest of dresses with you know this kind of a printed scarf so the dress in itself is quite plain but you know how it gets a pop of color or it gets you know a focal point of attraction with this particular scarf and I could not recommend more these cotton scarves you know we've got cotton scarves and animal prints floral prints these are so so versatile for instance if you are at the beach you know this could be your sarong just tie it up tie it around your waist and it becomes a sarong so there you go around the waist it's a sarong tie it you know around your forehead it can be a bandana uh, around your bag a nice boho kind of look a boho vibe so you can do so much with this cotton scarf so and particularly if you're traveling to last but not the least i must mention if you're traveling to say temples or religious places you know so if you need to suppose you're wearing a little cami or a spaghetti top so you need to cover your shoulders so otherwise you don't get entry so you cover your shoulder with this cotton scarf then you'll be eligible for an entry into these kind of religious places so those are a few of my travel tips travel light travel safe put 2020 behind you and come back refreshed for 2021 unwind after what has been a very tough year for most of us and if you like this video give us a thumbs up like share and comment show your love not only for learn with Sumita but also for Dida Eco Gifts online and I'll be back very soon with another vlog till then bye for now